in the last episode of Space Engineers. It's all our little boy's dream inside to just have a ship with all the drills on and it's going to be horribly ugly and fantastically fun. <laughs> Drills. Ooh. This is going to be amazingly fun. Thrusters? I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them. So I realized putting three into each of these would be a little bit much and uh, I, so I moved away the middle one. I would have wanted to move away the outer ones and just have the middle one but that would be too few thrusters which is unacceptable so now we have four up four down left and right so and uh, let's see what we can make here i think i am going to uh, fill in this block just so it's filled in so now we need to make some kind of uh, Forwards and backwards momentum, and I think forwards is going to be a very 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 simple And I have a idea for a backwards one uh, even though we have uh, The uh, Thruster damage on so I'm just gonna weld this back part here as well and I might change out the bottom parts here For diagonal ones Fix up the parts that I broke. So do... Wah, wah, not what I wanted to do. This is not doing what I want to do. So there we go. Just add these little corner ones. And then we'll see. So probably adding a back plate to this. In the form like... Uh, this keep these guys going and then making a turn right here or we do this this thrusters we start in the shape of this and see if that will be adequate I think it might be so then we do this, add these guys, and add thrusters in the opposite direction right here, like so. And see what we can do to patch uh, this up. So we still need a way to access the ship, of course, which is going to be... Uh, from the top, so you're going to jump down, and this is going to be a little bit of an empty area or something. Uh, but you'll jump in it from here. Maybe from the back would have been a good place. Let's do that. Let's do this. This we can do. You'll jump in between the thrusters, because that is the safest way to do it. So we'll do this. Like so, and you will jump in to the ship like so. Yes, that will be good. And we'll have corners right here. Here, and have a diagonal like... Oh, let's see, what am I doing? There we go. But that was not where I wanted it to be. Let's see. Have them like that, have it like that, like so, like so, we have uh, this one in the opposite corner right here, and that will be like so, so there we have our kind of break breakers, and they shouldn't touch anything in front of them, uh, so let me replicate this on the other side, keep this theme going. I'm also going to add some uh, diagonals right here to smooth it all off. And of course we'll have this one here and add that one there and that there. So we have this 
triangle here, we have this smooth curve here. And we'll see what we'll do with the backside here. I might, might fill it up, uh, build it in, box it in, I guess. I don't want to build out further than this. Uh, because I want the drills to be the very outmost parts of the ship. So I can just mine it straight through uh, whatever I want to. Uh, if I so desire. Uh, so anyway, uh, give me a little bit of time. I will fill in this with the thing that uh, welds. The welder. This is upside down. And uh, I shall stop talking and start welding in the welding simulator 2013. 14. So, skip forward in time a little bit, and this is what you get welding and welding and welding. But I did uh, change it up a little bit from what I had planned. I had planned to encapsulate everything, but then I realized that maybe that's not what I want to do. So I got this odd looking shape, which I'm not too happy about. So I'm going to do this. Remove these blocks. Because I do want to encapsulate uh, the thing anyway. So let's do this. And add you there. Remove you as well. You are not wanted. So let's see. Rotate you. And rotate you so you are both right. So place you. You. A block there. Let's see what I did here. Place you. Uh, that's not what I did. That's not at all what I did. I had one of you, then, then Jen, I did you. Yes! Did I rotate you and put you like that? I should have, and I did. Yes! So that is the shape we are going for. So it's kind of going into the engine and hopefully creating some sort of uh, muscle car feeling in the back here. Something strong. And beefy. Let's see. Let's finish this center line here. And step back. Yay! That doesn't look too bad. Uh, not too bad. Not too good either. I will live with it. It shall be fine. Let's see. We have two blocks here. But it should. Should be flyable. Aha! It should be flyable. So I do think I'm going to encapsulate the back parts. I do not think I'm going to have time for that this day. This day. Do that. First of all, uh, let's move this guy. Landing gears are for wusses. Uh, as you may also see that Moribus also do not have any landing gears. Or do he now? Did he manage to get that into the design? No, he didn't. Uh, so we are making the landing gearless ships. Uh, first off, paint job. A working class yellow, maybe. Well, not working class, but uh, machinery. Yellow machinery is all usually working machinery. Doesn't look too horrible. Does definitely help to fix my design and add some black in there somewhere but first of all test flight flying upwards is incredibly sluggish flying forward is incredibly sluggish stopping is incredibly sluggish going backwards is incredibly sluggish now let's see if I do accelerate the ship oh no I can't see anything let's see I'm accelerating and I'm stopping. Am I braking? No, I did the math in my head that I didn't do. I did it correctly anyway. How much do I shake? It's stable. It is stable. She is stable. Perfect. She's really heavy though. Really, 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 really heavy. 
Uh, but it is possible to reach up to speed. She's now way too sluggish. I like kind of that she is sluggish. Kind of. So let's see if I move up. So if I would kind of land and take off, I'm not breaking anything because of the wonderful placement of things. Now, if I'd want more thrusters, it would be there and there, because there I can sink them in. Maybe I can actually add even more forward thrusters. I could probably even add large ones if I wanted to, but I do not. So what would be left is to actually cover up the back portion here with armor, uh, which would be something in the lines of, uh, let's see, rotate you. That is not possible. So it would have to be something like this. Add a corner piece right uh, there. So you can still see that, but that doesn't matter too much. But it would go up like so until we reach this point where we do this and take this one and rotate again rotate oh you don't be there no 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 you don't be there and do that and th we'd probably do this as well uh, just to cover up so we'll have two holes there uh, we wouldn't fill this hole up, we'd just do this and continue our little line here and we fill up right here the bottom section, let's see what can we do there can we make it so that you don't see that there is a hole behind here I don't want to place you there! This is what we've been nagging about forever and ever. This is what we've been nagging about forever and ever. Okay, so you will see inside, uh, though there's not much I can do about that. I can put a block, like, inside here. Oh, I can place blocks through. Yay, but I can't weld through. Not helpful! So there will be a hole there, and uh, maybe I will have to fill up this portion as well with blocks i can do that without them taking damage they are in not the line of fire wonder if these guys are though hmm that is something to be seen that would be removing this and making this one that one if you understand what this one is that one and uh would take this Put you there, and then we'd uh, do this. So yeah, this is happening. It's going to happen, and it is happening. So uh, stay tuned for the actual driving test, which will be sometime later this year. It will be soon, I promise. In the next clip, probably, most likely. Who's that spacey man? It's Doormaker! And welcome back. We are now together once again, Morelbus and Captain Joss, in the same sh speaking voice through. Woohoo! We're together. I Yay. missed you. <laughs> uh, so we did finish our ships, and uh, you can see his over there, his, his little thing. Actually, uh, size matter? I don't think there's much of a difference, to be honest. That's uh, true. And yours is going to do a lot more than mine. <laughs> 29 uh, it is three times tons. the drills. 29 tons, and I'm... I'm 65 tons. Okay. Okay, so you're about twice the weight. A lot yeah. of that could be in the drills. And you have a lot more heavy armor, I think, than I do. Yeah, it's basically just a blob of heavy armor in drills. Cool. <laughs> So we're not going to show each other's ships off too much. We want you to go check out each the other channel if you're, you want to see how they put that together. So be sure to check out Jars' videos on this ship. 
and his thoughts in making it and all that. And make sure to check out Morelibus' uh, video as well. Links in the descriptions, of course, as always. So let's go to let's go do some testing of these mad machines. I did manage to fix my exploding engines problems as well. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Some we think it's some multiplayer issues. Yeah. Some sync issues. So we had to put some of his thrusters a little further away than I think he theoretically needed to. Yeah. And make some holes in the armor for thr <laughs> thrusters. <laughs> some speed holes. <laughs> <laughs> speed holes. Uh, so All right, so let, should we go find some surface iron? I noticed there's some off to the right here. Not a yeah. huge patch, but I hope I don't crash. <laughs> I'll, I'll fly below. So the purpose of my ship is I shouldn't really need to worry about my back end or anything. I can rotate around fairly freely without kind of bumping into stuff. Yeah. So I just so want to see, here. would I fit through the door here? I do just exactly fit through the door. That's amazing. Nice. <laughs> That's excellent. So you can still unload over there. Yeah, that's good. Now I do have... I don't have exactly enough thrusters. Because of all this heavy armor I added onto my ship, it is a bit sluggish and a little slow to stop, but might try to address that in the future. Yeah, I think yours so, might be more agile than mine. <laughs> yeah, and it's not even that agile. <clears throat> okay, so there's a bit of iron here. Is there... I'm just going to fly away my, as a person. See if we can see a big chunk of something we can deal with. Or somewhere where Jars wants to just tunnel down. Now oh, that might be a decent spot. Or there's this crater. Here we go. Um, uh, is it below or? It's away from the door, out of the thing, just kind of out straight and down. You okay. know what your ship almost reminded me of is the, the ship that the viewers have not seen, but the one that I showed you, that big guy who has claws and stuff. That's kind of what yours looks like from a distance. Oh. With the yellow look, it reminded me of that. All right, are you in the crater? Uh, I'm right behind you. Okay. Turning on the drills, drilling your ship. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. All right, you want to go and mine that big chunk since you're kind of a big mass. Let's see what you can do. Uh, the ones that you're looking at, the two triangles? Yeah. Yeah, like a good flat region, more suitable for your spot. Okay, so let's nice. see. Let's <laughs> see how much lag we get. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just flying forwards and drooling, and oh my god, that's a hole. That's, yes. <laughs> There's all of our iron problems gone. <laughs> Look at that. <gasps> Whoa! I'm sure you could just tunnel right through the whole asteroid. <laughs> Bye, a, I could do this for four hours with the uranium <laughs> I have. How's your storage? Are you just using the storage of the drills? Yeah, it's just the drills. The, the drill storage is so massive anyway, so... Oh god, this is crazy. <laughs> That's pretty cool, because it makes a giant rectangular hole, too. Yeah, <laughs> it's just... It looks so artificial. So it's actually kind of cool if we wanted to ever build a base inside an asteroid you could pretty much yeah. tunnel tunnel it out yeah <laughs> that is so cool uh so let's see what i have i have four thousand uh well, in each drill <laughs> about four thousand in each in each one. Oh wow so times 12 basically yes yeah, so times so. 12 <laughs> Like 50,000 roughly, maybe? Yeah, some have 6,000, some have 2,000, so... That's huge, <laughs> compared to how long it usually takes. Uh, now the question is, can I make it out without... Yeah, can you just come straight out? You look pretty level for the most part. And I found heavy armor, even light armor, can be fairly forgiving for light bumps. Yeah, for light bumps it's definitely pretty forgiving. Yeah, so this was this was no problem getting out. So you can kind of guide your way through. Okay, yeah. I will try beside you. So oh. I only have four drills, so it won't go as fast. But I should be able to do roughly the same thing for the most part, and just go straight in. So I'm just going to hold straight or hold forward with my drills on, and we'll see what happens. But yeah, obviously for mass production, 
Jars' ship is much more better suited for just getting a large quantity of, of resources like that. Oh, I or think you're getting stuck. A... Am I? On the, the, on the cool oh. details. Oh, no. Oh, the armor plates. Okay, so flaw of mine is I can't actually just go straight. But I think, actually, I think our ships complement each other really well because I make this huge hole. Can you fly into this hole and drill out the things that I can't, like, I can't access the sides now? Right. Oh, yeah, so I could use yours as a tunnel. Oops, I just bounced off the side. And then dig in. Yeah, and then you can grab the things that I can't. So, we've just made complement ships. Like, yeah. awesome. So that's cool. <laughs> oh, there's the lights on. Yeah, so I guess this one's more better just for kind of grinding around. So moving around laterally, just side to side, while grinding away in a spot. Or Jars' is great for creating just nice massive tunnel. Yeah. So this is going to be good initially to getting the uh, masses of ore until there's no masses. No! What happened? What happened? Explosion on my screen. On your on ship. On my ship? Yes. Uh oh. On, on your backside. Stand still. Stand still. Oh, I might have been my beacon. Yeah. Because I did a spin around job. Did, I, okay, did yeah. I break off my beacon? Yeah, there's no beacon on the butt. No more beacon! No more okay. beacon. That was an afterthought. It stuck out a little bit too much. My butt fell off. It happens. It happens. Okay, you know. okay so I lied. I can't exactly just spin around. <laughs> there is a chance that I could hit stuff. Oops. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm bouncing my way out. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So our shortage of iron days are over, yep. for sure. Because <laughs> pretty much everything that Jars just mined there was iron. That is crazy. A little bit of rock, but so otherwise, let's see. Can pretty I good. Get inside. I, yeah, I did make sure that I could get inside the base. I think. Oh, yeah. Which way is this way? The door maker is the name of Jars' ship, by the way. Yeah. yeah. The tunnel, the tunnel maker should probably be made for a <laughs> better name. Um, okay, how do I see. fit through here? Oops. So I just oh, park right here and I go to the connector and say on to both, jump out, and he should start dropping stuff. Now I do need to move him forward a little bit. Oh yeah, nice. So I'm. Pooping the <laughs> this looks pretty cool. We're like a little conveyor shipyard. Out of my way! I can't. Hurry up! I got a, I got a something to meet. What do you? Oh wow! Brain. Work, please. So this is gonna take cool. a while to drop off. <laughs> How many connectors do you are you using? A one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just the one. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can fit down this bottom one. Oh no, the other ship's down there. So accessing the ore uh, it takes a very f short time to get all the ore. Uh, dumping the ore is going to take a while, so... Yeah, I, what I if guess, you added a whole bunch more? I guess I could pretty easily just add two more, uh, which should uh, triple the speed. Uh, yeah. It dumps but that's out. pretty cool, nonetheless. So it is definitely a little like a rabbit pooping block. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> little poop drops. Trip, cool. drop, trip, drop, trip, drop. Beautiful. But there we go. So we'll probably add more of these hopper type things. Collectors. Oh, but you could um, you could go uh, down and uh, dump down there. Yeah, I was going to, but I, I forgot I left the other ship down there. I can, I'll move it. Okay. You do it, and I will see. I should be able to fit down there if I just face straight down. There we go. Oops. Oops. It's working. Oops, wrong way. Camera movement is a little wonky. Oh, and I just went to Windows. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There we go. Back to my cockpit. I wanted to make this ship so I wouldn't really need to go into third person but oh, I do have to rotate ship. yeah 
Your ship is so cool. It's got the looks, I think. Yeah, it definitely style. Got, it it's wins on style. Might not be all that you still need to go forward a bit. <laughs> okay. And how am I doing for space? Oh, I got lots of space. Yeah, yeah. You got space for days. They've talked about adding like sensors and stuff to the game as well. So eventually you could have like a proximity detector when you get close to where you need to be. Okay, right about there. Yeah, that's fine. Now we are above. So I should be able to go into the control panel and I got three connectors. And if I just tell them to throw out, but I hope they all work. Yep. Oops. There they go. Beautiful. Which is good. This guy would actually be okay for mining down here as well. So I could use him. It's a little bit of a tight fit getting him down, but he yeah. could actually just stay down here, to be honest. I, I, I don't, don't need to park him up above. I don't now have Now I'm super to curious. Attention. Will this guy fit? <laughs> you can do it. Okay, here I want to just check out the drill compartments. And we should be able to tell... Okay, there's a bit of iron in the right drill. Uh, but everything else is done. Oh, the right drill is not dumping. Why not? So the right drill is this guy. I'm coming down, Merlebus. <laughs> oh, God. Where are you? Oh, yeah, there you are. Oh, yeah, you fit. <laughs> You're fine. It's perfect. That is interesting. I wonder if I damaged a part so that it's not working. I bet you I did. Like doing that. I bet you one of my um, parts is broken. And if your parts from a from a sloppy weld. Yeah, like the lights on this tube are red. Oh, there you go. I need two conveyors. Son of a, or two computers. I see. Okay, so that's why that one isn't draining, but. I can fix that later. Yes. Shall we say goodbye to these lovely people? I think we should. We have things working pr pr pretty okay. So it's everything is working, but we there is a little bit of fine tuning with the drop off of items. <laughs> yeah. Especially also. on my side. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean that could change too once they like refine all these parts. Those connector parts should allow you to dock, like ship to ship or ship to station. So maybe that process won't actually be this slow eventually. Yeah. So you might only need to have one connector in the end. Yeah. But for now, it's a small rabbit poop stream. <laughs> yes. It's pretty consistent with how frequently rabbits will go, I think. <laughs> I do think this is true, yes. Now, I'm not a <laughs> rabbit expert, but... You can pretty much follow them around by just... Ooh, a piece of candy. <laughs> Excellent. All right, guys, we'll take it easy. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. We'll catch you next time.